Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back. Do you know someone struggling with depression but don't know how you can help? Depression is a very sensitive matter, and no matter how good your intentions might be, you could end up saying the wrong thing and make them feel worse. So if you wanna have a better idea on how to express your concern to your loved one going through depression, here are seven good examples for you to start with. But before we begin, we would like to mention that this video is created for educational purposes only. If you suspect someone you know is dealing with depression, it's best to encourage them to seek professional help from a qualified mental health professional. Let's begin. One, tell them you care about them. One of the most harmful symptoms of depression is intense feelings of worthlessness and suicidal ideation. So it's important to let them know that they're loved no matter what. They may feel terrible about themselves and are wallowing in self-loathing. Be sure to remind them that they matter to you. Hug them or hold their hand if you can't find the words to express how much they mean to you. Two, tell them you're here for them. Depression is so terrifying and overwhelming that it can make a person feel more alone than they've ever felt in their whole lives. That's why it's important for them to have a strong support system. Don't let them suffer in silence. Support them as much as you can and let them know that they're not alone in their fight against depression and that you'll stand by their side no matter how bad things may get. Three, tell them it's okay to feel this way. Don't make the mistake of asking someone why they're depressed or what they have to be depressed about. Instead, acknowledge their struggle. Let them know that it's okay to feel this way and that it's not their fault that they're depressed. Rather than invalidating their feelings in a misguided attempt to cheer them up, be their safe space. Allow them to express themselves freely without fear of judgment. Four, ask them what you can do to help. More often than not, Depression drains a lot of our happiness and leaves us physically, emotionally, and mentally exhausted. It would make a huge difference if you could ask them what you could do to help. Offer to share their load without making them feel like they're a burden to you. Check in on them from time to time, cook them meals, or walk their dog for them. Small acts of kindness can make a world of difference to someone with depression. Five, ask if they've talked to a therapist. Because of the stigma against mental illness, many people feel ashamed about having to see a psychologist. However, according to the National Institute of Mental Health, up to 80% of patients seeking treatment for depression start to see an improvement in as early as four to six weeks. Psychotherapy, and in certain cases, medication, is necessary to improve a person's chances of recovery. So one of the best things you can do for a loved one suffering from depression is to encourage them to seek help from a mental health care professional. Six, ask them if they need someone to talk to. Sometimes the best thing you can do for someone with depression is to just listen. Letting them talk through their feelings can do a lot of good and may ease some of their emotional turmoil. Be sympathetic when they tell you what's bothering them and keep an open mind. Attentive listening shows compassion and it's good to refocus their attention and try to better understand the inner conflicts that they feel. And number seven, remind them that they can get better. Depression is a very real and serious mental illness, but it's also highly treatable and chances of a successful recovery are very promising. So make sure that your loved one never loses hope in their fight against depression. There may be days when they feel like they've overcome it only to fall into another depressive episode, but don't give up on them and don't let them give up on themselves. With patience, love and support, things will get better. Never underestimate the power of a comforting word or gesture. Saying something positive and supportive can inspire your loved one to keep fighting and give them hope for better days to come. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those who might benefit from it. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.